Hello everybody, um, welcome to my base game only build. So it's my first pack limited build on my channel. Um, I'm planning on doing more of these. My overall goal is to have like one of each pack limited build, if that makes sense. So like base game and one pack for each of the packs. And I thought that maybe I could do that pretty quickly, but I'm noticing after doing just two base game builds and then one that's base game and Discover University <laughs> that I need breaks in between doing a lot of limited pack builds because like they're really good for um, like giving yourself a break from having to sort through a bunch of items if you have a lot of packs. So like and I've been getting burnt out, <laughs> so I'm doing smaller builds and then like a base game only build kind of made sense for me to like do at the time. But then I realized that I did one more on stream because I was having fun doing these base game only builds. And then I have like collab stuff that I need to catch up on that is limited build, so <laughs> I need to just do a full pack build or like 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 a few packs or something i am planning on doing a shell challenge that has like you pick three packs plus base game and that's what you're allowed to use so um if you're interested in that you can like subscribe or follow me on instagram <clears throat> i'm not doing it right away though i'm giving myself like some time to catch up on sim some things that i have to do <laughs> i almost said sim things but the build is already like pretty much the shell is done um now it's like adding the details which is pretty difficult to do with just base game <laughs> um i struggled a little bit figuring out what um like wall paint I wanted to use which is a common thing for me it was a little bit easier with almost no choices I like how it came out I've like mixed there is like the bottom floor has a different texture than the top like top is wood the other one is like I'm not sure what that <laughs> like would be but they kind of look the same but the it just like gives it a different feel for it so and that's what I liked because I originally was going to just do mostly all the same wall paint like have it be a log cabin but I noticed that <laughs> trying to build a cabin with just base game I kept really wanting to use the um camping pack I don't even remember what that's called now but I am building this in Granite Falls so it's kind of me cheating <laughs> because the background isn't just a space game. So in like the pictures and stuff, I feel like the pictures aren't actually base game, <laughs> which I'm not like limiting myself to just building in the base game worlds and stuff, mostly because like the lighting is difficult to work with with how I like my builds to look. So and I just I never build in Granite Falls. This is probably my first time in a long time doing it. So, yeah. Um, I had notes <laughs> on, like, what was the most difficult to do for base game only build. Try to move my coffee very slowly so that it doesn't um, leave a huge noise in my recording. <laughs> I was testing before to, like, see, make sure that, like, the background noise wasn't picked up that much and then I just had like a coughing attack <laughs> so that was fun it's all recorded um so my notes <laughs> I had trouble with foundations um I think the only foundations that I could use in base game is the one that has like the dock with the pillars or whatever that you want to call them I don't know and then the lattice one <clears throat> Like, there are a good selection of brick um, foundations, but for how I build, I normally go with, like, some sort of stone or a wood, and there's just not many of those. Columns, I really wanted to use werewolves for this, <laughs> but I couldn't. But these ones are, like, actually okay. I never, like, since um, Get Together came out, I never used the base game columns because the Get Together ones were perfect. And then a new pack comes out, and then I like those columns. So, but I did like 
you see those little mini columns that I think are for like fence pieces? I'm raising them up so they kind of look like a stone column, which I think is like perfectly fine. I think that is exactly another type of column I would want in base game. So that's, I have that. I have the wood one. <laughs> so I guess columns aren't too bad, but I do miss the werewolf one. This build also really doesn't use tool. I only use tool to lower that rock and I feel like it was necessary. So I was like, okay, I'm going to use tool to lower this one single rock, but I'm not putting any more rocks. Like my first video here, um, too many rocks using tool, but I wrote chimneys on my post-it with just a big frowny face. <laughs> we don't have a lot of chimneys, so. But there are, I think that when I do the pack plus a, um, no, base game plus a pack, it'll be easier because I love almost all the chimneys that come in the pack. So, like, I just did Discover University. It has one of my favorites. Outdoor lighting, I did, like, a half, like, what would that face be? Like a slanty face, like the mouth is like sideways. So it's just like, eh. <laughs> I don't know. I struggle with outdoor lighting anyway, but I realized when I was doing the interior of this build that the lighting was <laughs> also difficult. But I do love the landscaping in base game. So I didn't write a list of positives about building with just base game, but I feel like it just comes to me. Base game is like, pretty good to build with when you want to break from things like that um giant tree thing <laughs> i use that in all of my builds i found that purple giant bush it looks like the pea bushes i've never seen that at like ever new favorite item i'm gonna use in all of my builds um all the yellow flowers look beautiful so um, I've been doing a, like, when I do builds now, I just do one accent color and then I go, <laughs> like, sometimes overboard with it, but I've been enjoying that. So this one was yellow. I have another base game build that was all pink, so it was just, like, a field of pink flowers that'll be posted on my Instagram soon, so if you're interested in that, you can follow me on Instagram, but, um... I also just wrote rugs, <laughs> which I didn't actually write down while I was building this because I don't think I used a lot of rugs in this. It's a small build. Um, I wrote that down when I was doing a larger pack limited build, <laughs> which I think it was the mistake. I already said that I burnt myself out of doing large builds and then I had to do like a two bedroom build, but the downstairs is huge, <laughs> so I need to only do one bedroom builds right now. I don't know what I'm gonna build, like, for my next week's video, but it'll have to be tiny. I do have some videos recorded that are just, like, lower video quality because OBS is weird, <laughs> but, um, that's a possibility of just releasing them anyway. So, like, I have a friend's shell challenge that I did that I kind of just want to release. I didn't use reshade on it or like, um, yeah, I didn't use reshade on it. So it's like, just like the normal game, but it looks like really nice and stuff. So I liked it. Um, I feel like I had something to say about windows too. I never use those windows with the like, what is that? Storm door, storm shutter. Um, the only thing is that, like, nothing else matches that height, <laughs> and I've tried. I went through all the windows to try and have something match that height, and I couldn't, so I just had to accept that my windows were going to be different. And you could see me struggling <laughs> with trying to fit a lot into this tiny kitchen, because for some reason in my head, I was like, this is a micro-home challenge, too. I never said that. Like, that wasn't a thing. So I do end up expanding the wall, but I'm glad that I, at first, I wasn't, because I made this really cool, like, I don't even, like, a unit where it is a console table, a little side table under it, some shelving, and then I believe that I end up adding a, like, um, another cabinet above it and then a mirror, which you had seen in the intro. I always forget about that. <laughs> I'm always like, you're going to see this and it's going to be cool. And it's like, you've already seen it because I was excited about it to put it in the beginning of the video. <laughs> so I think this time I did do a little like 
outro video but it was just like the light like the lighting change i believe because i p made sure to remember to put a bunch of fireflies outside because <laughs> i love when people have that in their builds but then i like always forget because i'm never in like live mode or live mode and this was a vacation home so i couldn't even test this yet um there's one part of the build that doesn't work, but I'll get to that after. <laughs> but yeah, so I had to like move my Sims into this like vacation. And I'd keep moving them back and forth because I had other pictures to take. Oh, why didn't I just get another family? I don't know. I can't answer that for you. <laughs> but um, I used pretty much the same walls throughout the builds. <laughs> Uh, I do that with my normal builds anyway, so, like, that's not even just a base game thing. <laughs> it's just, like, I use the same walls over and over again. But yeah, this is my favorite part of the build. I might do a little stop-motion short of it, except it is so small that I'd have to, like, maybe get another stop-motion of another room. <laughs> but I have been enjoying, like, playing around with stop-motion, and I'm mostly gonna focus on like doing clutter videos of it like have the room with the furniture in and then just like clutter it i feel like that's the best that i can do <laughs> with my patients but um the bathroom is super simple um i put a bathtub i don't know if i do a no i don't do a shower because i put shelving above the bathtub and then i struggle looking for wall art <laughs> so i just put a window <clears throat> need to take a sip of my coffee I just woke up not too long ago, so. Yeah, when I, I've been doing bathrooms, and then whenever I do bathrooms, I want to finally use the bathroom clutter kit that I bought that I've only used a couple items from. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, but Megan, this is base game only. And I'm like, should I just do it anyway? It's base game only in a kit. And then I have to, like, talk myself out of it. <laughs> so, yeah, the build, very small, one bedroom and an attic space so technically the attic space could be two bedrooms but um i decided to just like make it a storage room and that's that i also layered that rug it kind of looks it doesn't really match very well <laughs> but i was convinced that i wanted to layer a rug so um i'm glad that now i know that you could just use dining tables as desks because um the desks are too big in this game uh, so I just use one little thing in small spaces <laughs> and I realized that a lot of furniture and base game is like I love and I use all the time like that dresser that's like wood chipped um I love it I love the bed the bed doesn't work um I think that little console table is the reason for it um one side works so you either like scoot it to the wall or delete the table which I don't think is like a huge deal. I'll probably just like write that in a comment when I upload it to the gallery if like anyone is interested. But I always feel bad when some of my builds are just over the top and not functional at all. And it's those that people are like, oh, hey, like, is this on the gallery? And I'm like, oh my god, yeah, it's on the gallery, but I don't know if you want to use it. <laughs> so I don't know. But yeah, this is just very basic um, storage room which are my favorites to do. I love just throwing in all the miscellaneous objects that I don't really often get to use. So that's nice. Like these, I just hang them on the walls. Um, what do I put? Oh, I end up putting a fireplace because I realized that I wanted smoke coming out of the chimneys. So I had to make sure that there's a fireplace. And I believe that up here is mostly functional. I don't know if they could walk out the door where the t like that game table is, but yeah, I added a little gnome. He's pretty cool up there. <laughs> and little Grogu in the back. Um, I fit a lot in this space, surprisingly. It, like, a lot fit. <laughs> I do very basic clutter in the kitchen, too. And then I go back outside because um, I did the build, and then I'm like, oh, no. I was like, I don't like it. <laughs> and so I just added more stuff on the roof, which is how I start liking my builds. So I put, like, some giant sunflowers and some more yellow flowers and i think just like a giant like i think there's supposed to be like tree limbs <laughs> but without this like like stump or whatever it is um but yeah that's pretty much the whole video <laughs> 
Um, that's it. <laughs> you could follow me on Instagram. Um, I've been streaming a little bit more on Twitch, but um, I'm po I'm mostly posting Instagram and YouTube, and I've been trying to do some more shorts. So, um, at least like a few shorts a week, I think. <laughs> so, if that interests you, then that's that's where I am. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Um, I'm just going to go on until the video ends, but that was my goodbye. So, <laughs> no abrupt endings here. That's the thing that I liked. <laughs> um, yeah, I like the giant sunflowers too. I think it was a good touch. You know, whenever you don't know what to do, just put giant plants on the roof and you'll like your builds because that's usually what happens for me all the time. Um, yeah, layering the flowers. <laughs> Bye.